I'm Alexandra Samuel and I'm here at High Vancouver for Startup Week Vancouver and we've been talking about the collaborative economy and you know there's a few different ways the collaborative economy can really help startups. First of all we've seen incredible uh, growth in interest in the sharing economy. So a year ago uh, we had about 40% of Canadians who had used some kind of sharing service and we expect that that is going to double uh, because so many people have either just tried one form of sharing like buying or selling pre-owned goods on eBay or Craigslist uh, and so many of them are interested in trying additional sharing services whether that's car sharing, sharing their home on Airbnb, trying out professional services through Freelancer. All of those offer opportunities for startups. Well, you've got the opportunity to extend or grow your business by leveraging sharing services. So you can scale without necessarily having to rent a big office because you can find space on demand. Uh, you can um, borrow a vehicle instead of buying a vehicle for your business. You can find people who can help you with your business uh, online through sites like Freelancer instead of having to hire everybody right up front. So there's an incredible amount of opportunity for companies to grow by using sharing services. Of course, there's also incredible opportunities for companies to grow by offering sharing services. I mean, yes, we now have a huge Airbnb and a huge Uber and you know lots of businesses that have sprung up to take advantage of the sharing economy in the early days, but there's still so many kinds of businesses where nobody has yet stepped back and said, how could this kind of industry, how could it, this kind of service, this kind of product um, be offered on a peer-to-peer -peer basis or an access basis instead of an ownership basis? So thinking and looking around and thinking about where there is maybe an opportunity for your business um, to offer something in a new way by, by using this kind of business model. And then of course, you know, even for companies that aren't directly using sharing services or offering sharing as part of their own business model, the real lesson of the sharing economy extends way beyond just the companies in this space because what's powering the sharing economy is the fact that people don't want to do business anymore with brands that are at a distance. They want to feel like they're part of the companies that they buy from. They want to feel like they're part of the brands um, that they patronize. And you know that's why these services are so successful is because people want to feel closer to the businesses that they work with. And that is a principle that can hold for any startup. So thinking about uh, how your startup can get closer to its customers, how you can bring your customers into the fold and make them feel part of your business is really important for any startup.